Whiskey throttle, yard sale, roosted, these are all common terms we hear at the track or on the trails, but what do these mean? I'm gonna help you with all the dirt bike terminology you need to know so you don't get left out with any of the lingo. Today, we're gonna cover all the dirt bike terms that every dirt biker needs to know. I just wanna go out and give a quick shout out to my buddy Tanner for signing up for the membership. It really does support the channel and I wanna say thank you and I hope you're enjoying all your guides and all the access you have to the members only private YouTube membership. If you guys wanna join, make sure you guys click the join next down to the subscribe button. While you're there, click subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. The first term we're gonna be talking about is cased. So what is cased? Cased is when you come up to a jump and you don't quite clear the lip of the landing and you case the rear tire on the lip and you'll end up bottoming out the suspension. Another term you might hear often is clapped out. Now what does clapped out mean? It's generally just when we're talking about a bike that's usually pretty wrecked, it's pretty beat up, uh, and it's just all around clapped out. We're gonna go ahead, hop into a couple acronyms here you might hear around. So the first one we're gonna talk about is DNF. So did not finish as uh, another term you might see on the leaderboard. Uh, if someone doesn't complete the race in the time allotted, they might get a DNF instead of eighth place or whatever's last. The next one you're gonna hear at the track every single race that happens is the whole shot. Now the whole shot is the guy who gets off the starting gate and leads the pack into the first corner and he's in first place on the first corner. That is the guy who got the whole shot. And then our next one is the LCQ. Now the LCQ stands for the last chance qualifier. So this is your last opportunity to qualify to advance further in the races. The next word you're gonna hear getting tossed around is, oh man, I was just, I was so pinned. I hit this jump and I was just pinned, man. <laughs> Now to be pinned simply means that you're holding the throttle wide open and you're just holding this thing at open throttle going as fast as you possibly can, that is being pinned. Now the next term we're talking about is rutted. Now this is a terminology used when we're talking about the track itself and the surface that we're riding on. So after a bunch of people have ridden on it and they're pinned wide open riding, they're gonna leave a bunch of ruts. So this is where we talk about the track being rutted out. So the next term we're gonna talk about is a sandbagger. Now what is a sandbagger? It is a person who is intentionally not trying to go as fast as they possibly can under circumstances maybe such as where fastest qualifier actually starts out in the back of the pack instead of the front. Um, someone may be called a sandbagger if they're intentionally going slower than they actually can uh, to be put in an easier class or an easier ranking. Same thing, maybe if you were under the nine minute mark, you got put into A class. And if you're under the nine or over the nine minute mark, you're put into B class. So you might underperform on your ride to try and get into B class. You have an easier chance of getting a win compared to if you just barely got into A class. Next thing we're gonna hear often when we're hitting jumps is called scrubbing. So what is scrubbing is when we come up to the jump, instead of taking it on a straight angle and just jumping over it, we're gonna come off and scrub as we come off the edge of the lip. And that's just gonna help us give a more guided trajectory through the air when you're hitting a jump. Now, while we're on the topic of jumps, we're gonna talk about a step up. Now, step up is a common term you're gonna hear all around you. Anytime you hear a jump that is jumping up to a higher platform, that is known as a step up. Now, whiskey throttle. This one, I'm sure most of you have heard. Whiskey throttle is when you're a newer rider and you're still getting used to twisting the throttle and maybe you shift your weight back and it catches you off guard and as you do that you rotate your wrist, the bike pops up in a wheelie and you know nine times out of ten the bike goes flying off and you wipe out and crash. But that is a whiskey throttle. And the next term we're going to talk about is a yard sale. Now what is a yard sale? Now this is usually when you crash and the bike literally falls into multiple pieces and it's like you got a little tire over here, you got a fork over here, some frame over there, a chain over here. A little bit of everything everywhere just like a yard sale you would have at a house. The next term is being roosted. And it was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> this is not fun for me, look at this, look at this. So our next thing is roosted. Now roosted is usually when you're falling behind someone and they get on the throttle heavily and a whole bunch of mud or dirt or water or whatever comes up off their back tire, slicking you and getting you covered in whatever messy stuff it was and you get covered in stuff and that's when you go, oh man, he just roosted me. The next is the power band. So the power band is what we refer to when you're actually getting on the throttle and you have the most response from the engine. Now an easy demonstration for you to be able to audibly hear is this clip of a two stroke. You'll hear before he gets into the power band, it kind of bogs and goes 
And then as he hits the power band, it goes from And you can see the bike, it really starts to pick up and go. That is when you're in what is considered the power band. Now the next term you hear me throw around a whole bunch is bark busters. Now what are bark busters? This is another word or term that we use for hand guards, which are the things that protect your hands and your clutch and your brake lever from if you wipe out or crash it into a tree or dump the bike down some rocks or whatever it may be. Bark busters are pretty much just another word for hand guards. And if you don't have them on your bike, I do recommend picking up a set, especially if you ride enduro. The next thing we're talking about is tear-offs. Now tear-offs are an attachment you can put on your goggles. So when you get dirt or mud that are flown onto your goggle lenses, you can tear off one of these layers of uh, plastic clear that are on your goggles, and then you have a nice fresh set of goggles on and you can see out them no problem. Now the next one is one of my favorites. This is called a widow maker. Now why do you call something a widow maker? It's usually when there's a protrusion or some sort of thing sticking up out of the road like a random branch out of the ground or something that might grab your bike and just rip the bike right from underneath of you uh, or you know some sort of pothole or giant hole in the road that is what is known as a widow maker the next is the tank slapper now what is a tank slapper usually it's a trail that is pretty rough that you end up having your knees slap up and around the tank a whole bunch and that is known as a tank slapper next one i'm sure you guys have heard of is a lemon now what is a lemon a lemon is pretty much just something that is a piece of junk once you buy it and everything breaks on it if you were to go to buy a car and the engine blows up the next day you'd call that a lemon. Now, so this is something we do to our buddies all the time and this is egging them on. So this is simply to try and peer pressure them into doing something that they probably otherwise were not comfortable trying. You got this brother? Huh? You got this? Like some crazy hill climb or trying a wheelie or something, you usually egg them on and go, come on dude, you gotta try this. Come on, you gotta pop a wheelie, go up that crazy hill climb, man. Now the next two go together. First we're gonna talk is two stroke and four stroke. So those are simply the two different styles of dirt bikes you're gonna find. So two stroke is exactly that. The engine does two strokes in its engine rotation, where a four stroke does, as you guess it, one, two, three, four strokes. Uh, and there are just different characteristics and two different styles of dirt bike engine. The next one we see on the dirt bike engine is the carb. Now carb is referring to a carburetor, which is the fuel control system of the bikes. It is what is controlling the amount of fuel that goes into the engine, into the combustion chamber when it's running. Now the next thing is called EFI, and this is what you can find on some of the newer bikes, which is electronic fuel injection. And that's the newer version of an older carb is an EFI, an electronic fuel injected bike. Uh, and they have a whole computer that can do the brain work of what the carb does. Make sure you guys click subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss when we go live or upload our next video. Click like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you guys click the join button uh, to get access to my dirt bike Apollo guide so you guys can learn how to tune your suspension, how to tune your engine, how to make more power and uh, a whole bunch more. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap the like button. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.